Remember when I said I was done collecting? Well, I bought a ColecoVision. This is the Arcade Experience. We're ColecoVision, and we bring the Arcade Experience home. With arcade graphics, like Donkey Kong with multiple screens, just like the arcade game. Arcade controls, joystick, fire, and jump buttons. Arcade games, like Turbo, Cosmic Avenger, Venture, with 15 screens. And Zaxxon, games that let you have the arcade experience. Now you can bring the arcade experience home. Because your vision is our vision. ColecoVision. I've mentioned this before, but when I was younger, I was an Atari kid. And for the most part, I loved it. But one of the main reasons why we owned an Atari is because that that's what everyone bought back then. All my friends had 2600s, the library was massive, but it didn't change the fact that what I really wanted deep down was a ColecoVision. But back then, you just didn't buy multiple systems like you do now, and for that reason, I just never got around to getting one. So here is the ColecoVision that I bought over 40 years after it was released. I got this off of Facebook Marketplace. The guy had it originally marked at 120. He then marked it down to 100. And that's when I started to think, God, do I really need this thing? So uh, I messaged him and he said that the ColecoVision cartridge side of this had not been tested. So I kind of was using that to my advantage. I said, look, I don't need this thing. I've got a thousand ways to emulate this stuff, but I've always wanted one. I was like, would you, would you take 80? And he didn't even hesitate within like two seconds. He said, sure. Now it did come with this Atari 2600 expansion module. He said that this was used as his everyday 2600 for years, and then he just decided just to get a dedicated one for his uh, 2600 games. So this was a real plus. The box was in decent shape, as you can see. There are some tears. Um, this flap, believe it or not, has been restored about as good as I can get it. It looked a lot worse than this. It is missing a flap here, right there. Now, this is pretty common because back then they didn't have those interlocking pieces like a lot of console boxes do, where it just kind of locks into place. You had to break open the seal uh, on either side, and in doing that, it, it often just destroyed, you know, all the paper here. But, let's pull this out, let me show you what else we got. So again, overall, this box, not in too bad a shape. I would give it, even considering, you know, with this flap over here missing, still about a 6 out of 10, which really for 40 plus years, I'm, I'm okay with that. And as you can see, the styrofoam is still in near perfect condition. So looking at the contents in here, everything is in very, very good shape. I am missing a cartridge and an RF switch. I'll get to that in a minute. Um, it does come with the power supply. I mean, look at this beast, I mean, if consoles were judged by the size of the power packs, then uh, this thing must be the greatest console ever made. Jesus, would you look at the size of that thing? All right, so here we have console itself. I've also got the manual. Here is my RF cable. And everything is in very, very good shape. There is a little bit of I don't know what you'd call it, bubbling right here. But I mean, other than that, it's in exceptional condition. It's really hard to believe that this thing for its time was e extremely powerful. It was kind of like if you owned a PS1 and then they came out with a PS4. That's pretty much the equivalent of the jump in graphics. A ColecoVision versus, say, an Atari and even an Intellivision. It was a major, major step up. The only downside was this controller, but there are other options which I'm going to get to here in a minute. Now, I did order a Donkey Kong cartridge and a manual on eBay. I'm going to actually test this out live and uh, you'll get to see whether or not this works. This was an untested cart, this is an untested cartridge slot. I'm assuming that this should work if it the expansion module works. But again, um, I'm not familiar with these very much, 
So uh, I'm gonna be opening this up here in a second and uh, we'll, we're gonna test it out. I've also got another box of seven games that I got on eBay. This was an auction, which I don't do many auctions anymore, where you actually bid and you wait to the last minute. I got seven games for $17.50. Everyone has a manual. One of them is complete. I am really stoked. I've not opened any of this stuff up yet, so uh, you'll get to see me test these out as well. So let's uh, let's go check out some gameplay and test some cards out. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is uh, fire up a little demon attack using the 2600 module, just kinda show you how that works. Plug this in here. Look at that picture quality. So I'm using the ProPad 6. This is a Genesis controller. I'm not sure if this is going to work for the ColecoVision part, but we're gonna find out here in a minute. Um, I don't really care for the ColecoVision controllers. As much as I was uh, excited to get this and have two original controllers, they're just not the most comfortable, unfortunately. Uh, they do induce cramps. The, the response isn't that great from that joystick. It just isn't really comfortable to hold. But, you know, I, I may end up using them if I get used to them, but I have a feeling if this, uh, this Sega Genesis uh, ProPad 6 works for those, probably what I'm gonna be using as my go-to. And there's some other options. You can use uh, 2600 controllers, I believe. There's some uh, ones with sticks on that I have. A buddy has got uh, two of mine uh, currently playing on his 5200. But but yeah, there's there's other options, which is good about having uh, you know a ColecoVision. You're not stuck with that kind of crappy controller. Let's open up that Donkey Kong package. I'm dying to see if this cartridge actually works in this slot. Package really nicely. Manual, oh my God. It was, yeah, it's in good condition. Uh, cartridge, pretty good shape. Bring the camera down. Maybe I should blow on it, I don't know. You should not blow into the cartridge at all. Cross my fingers. <laughs> Look at that. It worked. Oh man. The picture is outstanding. Probably not coming through as good on camera. All right, I'm going to be using the SG Pro Pad 6 again. This is the Sega Genesis controller. This does work with uh, the ColecoVision, I'm hoping. I'm going to hit left. And, and there we go. Now, this isn't the best controller. Uh, for playing Sega Genesis games, but for this, it's going to be much better than the controllers that I got with this. And I, I don't know if it's just my controllers were in bad condition or if that's just every ColecoVision controller. Now, this one's having an issue going up on the D-pad, so I'm going to have to take this thing apart. Yeah, it's struggling to go up. Wow. Wow. You know, back then, this would have been mind-blowing. Absolutely mind-blowing. Can't get the hammer. <laughs> Looks like every barrel is going underneath of the hammer. Still, though, this is a great conversion. One of, one of the best, if you compare this to uh, a lot of the ones that came to the home consoles. Oh God, I can't go up. Time is running out. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, that wasn't a kill screen, but uh, <laughs> it works. All right, let's try another one. All right, so you can see we've got Zaxxon here. Very, very good condition. Cart and the manual. We also got Ladybug. We've 
got River Raid, which I was very excited for this. This is probably like worth it by itself. Uh, this is this Cosmic Avenger. That's a shooting, side-scrolling shooter, I believe. And a couple more here. Beam Rider, which is an Activision game. Not familiar with this at all. I have seen some video of it, but anxious to try that one out. And then I got another copy of Donkey Kong. Last but not least, I got War Games, another one. And this one looks like it's never been played. Look at the, the quality of that cart. And then here are all the manuals. There's River Raid. These are all gonna get probably ironed, flattened out. They will look fine. I'm not really worried too much about those. Beam Rider, very cool manual there. War Games, Donkey Kong, and then Zaxxon's manual is in the box. Why don't we check out Zaxxon next? Now this game is even hard with uh, a control stick planted on the actual arcade. Oh my. It's always was a hard game. I still loved it, but it's definitely one that uh, I've never gotten very far. Really good conversion. Again, I mean, this, back then, this blew away the Atari. The phrase, they don't make shit like they used to, definitely applies to the ColecoVision. Great color, great sound. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. That's enough of that one. Next up, let's try some River Raid. High hopes for this one. I'm hoping it looks a lot better than the Atari. And it doesn't really. Which, that's kind of surprising. You know, you, you expect Activision games to be already better than most games. And then if it's on a console that's got more power, I would expect it to be even better, and that's not really the case here. I mean, it plays fine, looks good. I mean, the explosions might be a little bit better than the Atari. Other than that, you're not missing much if you have this on the 2600. Still a great game, but yeah, this is one that I, uh, I was really hoping would just be like, oh my God, this is a must own. You know, the, the, there's no more detail in the plane. Kind of a missed opportunity there. Why am I shooting the fuel? I, I don't know. All right, enough of that. Let's try some Beam Rider, Activision game. Know nothing about it. Okay, let's see. Why am I out of ammo? This one's pretty crude looking. One more time. Yeah, this one, uh, I don't know if this is a keeper. Where are my bullets? I, I don't know. Not impressed with that one. War Games. Wow, this thing's in such good condition. The shine on that label. Based on the 1983 movie that is still really good. I actually watched it recently and it holds up quite well. Check it out if you haven't. Would you like to play a game? Greetings, Professor Falcon. All right, no idea what to do here. Um, what, what am I doing? Oh, shit, we're at DEFCON 4. 
Oh God, here comes missiles. What the fuck is going on? This looks like one of these games that would be really fun if you actually knew what the fuck you were doing. Okay, put a quarter in the swear jar. Defcon 3. Oh shit, Defcon 2. You know what's next? Well, I'm glad I got a manual with this one. Uh oh. We are at Defcon 1. Yeah, somebody in the comments let me know is this one worth even trying to figure out? I've had enough. All right, here's Cosmic Avenger. This is a side-scrolling shooter, I believe. Now, this is another one of those games back then. This would have been just mind-blowing because nothing on the 2600 would look anywhere close to this. I'm not sure if this is based on an arcade game. A lot of their games were. But yeah, not bad. A lot of orange. Look at that speed up. That's fast. All right, let's try another one. Last game is Ladybug. I am familiar with this one. This one I play on my Multicade. Kind of a Pac-Man clone in a way, and a lot of people kind of shit on it. I don't think it's bad at all. I think it's actually quite good. You just need some really good precise controls. I don't think I'm going to get it here with this uh, this ProPad 6. This D-pad is just god-awful. Uh, I'm going to have to take this thing apart and figure out what's going on with that. Maybe uh, replace the pads, clean them up. Pretty good conversion, though. See, it doesn't even want to go up. Come on. Yeah, I do like this game. Watch out for the skulls. Oh, shit. Yeah, if I had this when I was 12, oh my god. Yeah, but one of the, the downsides to this was the library was just not that extensive. And uh, like all my friends, you know, they all had 2600s. So I'd have been the only kid with one of these, not sharing carts, not going to somebody's house and, um, you know, getting to, to maybe try different games. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I need a good controller. Let's have some final thoughts here and wrap this up. All right, so there you go. I still can't believe it took over 40 years for me to actually get one of these. And I have no regrets buying it. Now, did I need it? No. I've been emulating these games on many devices for many years, mainly my PSP. But there's just something about playing these amazing games 40 years later on original hardware. And having one in this condition with the original box and the 2600 expansion module, that makes me almost giddy. Who knows? Maybe I'm not done collecting. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. What I want to know from you is what are some must-own games for the ColecoVision, and do you have some storage options for the cartridges? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And as always, if you learned something or you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button on the way out and turn on that notification bell so you know when I upload videos like this one. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.